Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new to me vendor. This is Hayden Rowe. This is my first time ordering from her and I honestly, I didn't know when I was going to be trying her, but I don't know, I just got an itch and <laughs> and I went ahead and I checked out her scent list and I found some things that I was looking for that I wanted to try. I've really been in to laundry like I've been looking for some laundry scents that like I really really love and so if you guys have any recommendations from laundry from Hayden Rowe or any vendor for that matter I'd love to know I don't like tend to like the gain or like um <clears throat> sorry like the Thai type scents I don't know anyways I after smelling some of this stuff I feel myself already wanting to place another order because she does have a few scents in here that I am just like all over. So I'll just take one of the ducks out so that you can see. Sorry, my nail got messed up on that side. So let's show the pretty, <laughs> prettier nail. So the first sample I got in this duck shape, which I think is super cute. I've never seen this duck shape before. So I think that's like super original on her part, even though I know like vendors can get molds from anywhere, but I think it's fun when vendors do something a little bit different. And I think this duck is super cute. So this is Marie, the Marie Antoinette. And I have no idea of any scent descriptions or anything. This I can see smelling and like, or smelling. Oh gosh, this is horrible already. <laughs> We're off to a great start. I can see melting this in my daughter's bedroom because it's a very girly scent. I don't know if I love it, but I don't hate it either. It's not a love, it's not a hate. Love that she includes samples as well. Like this one... For instance, like I'll probably go back in and try to get another one of these. Like when people send samples, that usually encourages people to purchase something else. Because you smell something that you like and you're like, I need this. So the ocean water, cute duck. This one is different than any other ocean water or ocean type of scent I've smelled. The thing is, it's got a little bit of like a citrus or like a fizz note to it. I don't know. That one's good. I like that. The next one we have is Frost Fairy. I think this is a, I think this is, uh, wow, what am I trying to say? Snow Fairy from Lush. Yeah. Oh, that totally is. That's a pretty good dupe too. Like I've been using Snow Fairy in my shower and I would say that smells exactly like it. All right, so I'm just gonna start grabbing things out. And the first thing I got is Lime Cotton Candy Fizz. And her scent shots are really pretty. This one's good, I love anything fizzy. The lime is nice and subtle. You can smell it, but it's not overly lime, which I know some people sometimes in wax, lime just is not like a winner, <laughs> but that one is good. Ginger ale. Okay, this is the one that I'm probably going back in for because I have been looking for like a Lake Providence Lodge dupe or whatever you want to call it, even though a lot of people make ginger ale. Well, actually, no, not really. Not any of the vendors that I have seen or that I order from on a regular basis. I have not seen just flat out ginger ale. So this one is pretty good. It's pretty close to, was it Karen? Karen's cold ginger ale. It's a little bit different. It almost smells like it has like that, um, like a little bit of a root beer note to it. Maybe that's my imagination. I don't know but I do like ginger ale. Let's see here, let's move this. This next one I got, I've been looking for, like I said, laundry scents, so I thought I'd try sun-dried laundry. This one's good. I feel like it's a dupe for something, like a laundry sheet or, but I like it. I do like Sunder and Laundry. I'll do scent shots first and then sea salt. I have been dying to see this. I've seen other hauls where people haul this and I think I want to try sea salt. 
I don't know what it is about sea salt. It's just, I think it's because it's different and I like fresh ocean air scents. I don't know what I was expecting with sea salt. It's good. Hmm. I feel like there's a greenery in here. You know, like that green, green, um, like grass, dune grass or like a sea moss, but not sea moss in like a stinky way. <laughs> so I'll have to look up the scent description on that. The next one I have is shorts and sweater. Is it shorts and sweaters or shorts and sweater? Maybe shorts and sweater. Okay, the, I have smelled this somewhere before. Is this? This smells like some sort of laundry dupe. Ugh, I need to, you know, I need to go to the, I, people are going to think I'm nuts. I need to go to Walmart and just start sniffing all like the laundry detergents and all of the, dry, <laughs> the dryer sheets. This smells like, is it Snuggle or Downy or, I don't know. I feel like that's a dupe of something. The next one I have is Pressed Linen. This one smells pretty good. It has, oh wait a second, wait a second. Does that have gain in it? It's smelling like Mama's Family from Super Tarts a little bit. Like it has that that tone. Is that gain? I need somebody who knows laundry <laughs> to come chime in here and help me out. Tonka Bean. I, I've seen Tonka Bean like in my Lush stuff. I've seen it in blends and I've always wondered what Tonka Bean smells like. And I'm glad I know what it is, but I don't think this would be like a, a repurchase for me. I think it's supposed to be like a vanilla scent. It doesn't smell bad. I think it works better as a blender. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't, like it smells like vanilla, but maybe more of like a vanilla bean pod, but a little different. Okay, I have another sun-dried laundry. I thought I would really like that one, so I grabbed two. And then Lavender Fizz. So I was super excited about this one because this is very similar to another vendor's, like, what is it called? I can't think of what it's called right now. I just, I love fizz scents in general. I hope my nose never gets tired of them. But this is, yeah, this is very similar to another vendor's, like, Lavender Fizz scent, so... Super happy about that because I really enjoy that one. Okay, and then, oh, and let me just show you this before I get to the bigger things here. So she sends a sticker that says, change nothing and nothing changes. So true. I love that. And then she's got her card. I really like that she goes on Instagram and if you post something, she'll like comment or you know, just pop in and say hi. I like that she's like looking out, you know. So she leaves a nice little message that says, please feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to hear from you. I think that's nice. And then she has these post-it pads, which are super cute. I will definitely get use out of this. And it just says, thank you for a great order. Enjoy, Christine. And then, oh, my receipt, which I really like. Okay, so I saw this and I was like, it had, it had two scents that I really love in there. It has uh, Vanilla Bean Noel and White Clouds, and this is Christmas Clouds. Her wax is very clean looking, and I noticed, you know how you get an undertone from certain waxes, like when you smell them, you just start to know, like that undertone. I really like the undertone of her wax, which I know is kind of a weird thing to say, but it's like, um, I mean, you can't, you can't really detect it, but I just feel like her wax just smells really good. Like, I don't, I don't know, like it's a really clean wax, if that makes any sort of sense. So I'm mostly getting white clouds on this. So this is what it looks like. It looks really pretty. With that, I love turquoise. Turquoise is like one of my favorite colors. I'm mostly getting white clouds, which is okay with me. 
I really wanted that vanilla bean Noel, maybe with a little bit of pure time that'll like pop out a little bit more, but I do have vanilla bean Noel that I can mix with it if it's not strong enough, but I feel like you could blend like a laundry scent with anything. So there's that. Let me get rid of that little piece there. Okay, and the next thing I got is I have been obsessed with Love Spell. <laughs> so I saw Love Spell and Clean Cotton. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try it. I think I heard somebody told me that their Love Spell, I think it was Kim, told me that Love Spell from Hayden Rowe was one of her favorites. It's Love Spell and Clean Cotton. And I took kind of a, I think this is called her Ready Bits or Mixy Bits or some sort of bits. <laughs> I don't remember, but yeah, that's what they look like inside. This smells really good. I think I'm really going to enjoy this scent. The love spell's not overpowering, nor is the clean cotton. And, and I think sometimes clean cotton can overcome a scent. Mm, that just smells really nice. I wonder if the two different colors are the two different scents or if they're all mixed together. I don't know, I can't tell. Anyways, it smells good. I think I'm gonna like this one quite a bit. So yeah, super excited to try some of her stuff. And like I said, I think that cold ginger ale, I might, I might go back and get some more and a few other things that I really liked out of this order. But yeah, that is just like my first intro into the company, so. Uh, it came really nicely wrapped. I'm sure you guys have all seen it with the black and white striped paper. And yeah, so I'm excited to try a new vendor. You guys know that I like to just stick to like my tried and trues, but a lot of people said her stuff has a pretty strong throw and I can tell just smelling it off of cold right now that it does smell very strong. So usually I believe like when people say I get a strong throw from this wax, most of the time, you know, they're pretty accurate. So yeah, I don't have any like problems with just going off of people, other people's reviews on it. So yeah, that is it. I don't have anything else to say. The ordering process was pretty easy. I think the turnaround time was like 15 business days, but I think I feel like I got it sooner than that. Let me see if on my receipt it says when I ordered. Let's see, I ordered 227 and today is the what, 13th? Yeah, today's the 13th, so. I always have to look at a calendar because I never know. Let's see. So I got it yesterday. So one. Oh, so le definitely less than one. Definitely less than two weeks. Wow. Okay, so if I order on the 27th, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine business days. So that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So she got actually got done faster than what she said, which is cool. I don't mind waiting for wax though, but anyways. So yeah, uh, she seems like a really nice person and I can't wait to check her out some more. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you recommend any scents from her, definitely let me know something that I missed or if you have any suggestions on laundry, definitely let me know. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks guys, bye.